What's up? It is Mitchell, and today's video is gonna be really, really short. It's something I just, I needed to touch on really quick. I've had this Mi Pad 2 now for over two weeks, and there's something I've noticed about the build quality that I just really need to go ahead and share. Before we jump into that, if you're new to this channel, I do videos about tech, filmmaking, gadget reviews, and why I purchase specific products. Now, I've had my Xiaomi Mi A1 now for about three and a half months, and I absolutely love the device. It's been phenomenal. But the day I bought the phone, I bought this uh, case for it. It has not left this case since I had the phone. And I immediately noticed after a couple of weeks of owning it that I was starting to get abrasion from the lint and from the phone rubbing up against this soft plastic case. And within two months, I was beginning to have discoloration and parts of the metal finish beginning to rub off. Now, it wasn't rubbing all the way through to silver, but it was discolored and the finish was obviously scuffed. The day I picked up my Mi Pad 4, I immediately recognized that this was also going to be an issue on this device. I said in my last video about my first week with this device that I absolutely loved the build quality and loved how it's made, and that doesn't waver. But the tooling and finish that Xiaomi has on these devices both make the paint or whatever material they have adhered to the aluminum on the devices somewhat fragile and somewhat brittle and it easily scuffs and discolors. I didn't want that to happen to my brand new tablet that I got since there aren't cases available on the market for it yet. So here in Vietnam, I was able to get this wrapped by a vinyl shop for 50 cents US, as well as getting my phone wrapped for another 50 cents US. So I have protected both the devices, although to be completely frank, the damage done to the finish on this device is so extensive that it doesn't look new, even though the device has hardly been dropped. And I'm really disappointed with the overall longevity of the finish on these devices. Albeit both of these are super budget devices. Both of them are under the $300 mark, which is a great value. And I'm not gonna start criticizing Xiaomi for not using better finishes on their products. But if you're gonna get one of these devices or another Xiaomi device that has a similar brushed aluminum and colored coating, I would suggest either getting a skin like from dbrand or just getting it wrapped in vinyl. It will ensure that when you want to sell the device that the finish of it will be intact and if the buyer doesn't care that you have a skin on it, then you've just added value to your device. Okay, I'm gonna cut the video off right here. I'm sorry I don't have more pictures of my Mi A1 before I wrapped it, but take my word for it, learn from my mistakes, and if you picked up a Mi Pad 4, go and get a skin or a decal or some type of protective covering for the back of it before your finish on the back is scuffed and ruined. Thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe if you love it. And until next time, it's been Mitchell coming to you guys from Hanoi. Peace.